Welcome back. Well, some might say it's the singer, not the song, but the people in our next story would disagree. They're behind the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. And as John Northcott found out, this year's inductees have influenced a new generation who gathered today to pay them tribute. Suzanne takes you down to a place by the river. You can hear the boat David Usher, an accomplished composer himself, sings a song by a man he admits to having worshipped since he was 12 years old. Leonard Cohen. Songs like Leonard Cohen writes, his great songs have um, a very specific honesty to them that, you know, there's a great reference and turn of phrase to a specific time and place. And uh, you can't help but get the feeling of that time when you listen to them. Here, Marie Mai sings the work of Quebec songwriting icon Gilles Vigneault. Even if people are wonderful singers, if they write songs, their egos are really tied up in their songs. And uh, it's so wonderful to have a song recognized because it goes beyond the singer and, and spreads out to everybody. Their, their time and their tributes and their... Hall of Fame chairman Peter Steinmetz thinks Canadian songwriters are able to draw on the multiculturalism of the country itself. The music springs from the culture of the street and, and from the, the people that interact and, uh, uh, and uh, the musicians and the songwriters, uh, they reflect society as they see it and they see it through remarkably diverse eyes. Another honoree, Anne Murray, will be given a special award for her efforts to highlight the work of Canadian artists. Other inductees include songwriter Carmen Lombardo, brother of band leader Guy, and the song Sugar Sugar, written by Montreal-born Andy Kim. The Canadian Songwriting Hall of Fame inductions will be broadcast on both CBC Radio 1 and Radio 2 in February and at a later date on CBC Television. John Northcott, CBC News, okay. Toronto.